all right everyone welcome back and in this video we're gonna take a look at entry option in webpack configuration so we see that uh, what happens by default is that webpack picks up this src slash index.js file now what if you have a different name or maybe a different directory where you want to pick your entry file so you can specify that with the entry by default it holds a value of you could say let me just get it into single quotes there we go of src index.js this is the default value so if i run just npm run build here nothing's going to change because we are defining the same value and you can see that once it's done we get the same main.js output it looks pretty much the same but let's say if i um let's say make this engine.js now what should happen now so if I change, if I run this right now, what you're going to see is an error which says that you could see that it cannot find this particular file. So you need to give Webpack an entry point, an entry point in your project. So once Webpack finds this engine.js, it's going to resolve whatever this file is importing. It's going to get into those files, recursively resolve its own imports. And once it's done, creating that whole kind of tree you can think of a tree of imports it's going to get every file compile it down into one and echo it out inside your main.js file so the first entry point wherever you define this wherever you say to webpack hey go ahead and start from this particular point is this file right here so i'm going to change this to engine.js and you're going to see that we pretty much get right here you can see it builds now perfectly and we get our main.js echoed out right so there are a bunch of options to specify multiple entry points you can specify an array of options you can even give it an object right you can give it an object with a key value pair but for the sake of these videos we're going to just restrict ourselves to one entry point you're going to very seldom need a multiple entry point um, you could say configuration in your webpack because it's just not really required but uh, yeah if it is required in the further videos we're going to discuss upon that so for now i'm just going to keep it to a single src engine.js and that would keep us going so that's all for the entry entry configuration basically and i'll see you then in the next video